this Dutch crunch bread or tiger bread is a soft and fluffy bread with a fine crispy crunchy crust with a beautiful pattern on top. We can make any of our favorite bread dough into a tiger bread by applying a super simple rice paste on top of the bread dough. Though this bread is almost like a regular bread, the crunchy topping definitely adds a unique flavor and aroma to our bread. And you will also love how soft and fluffy the inside of this bread will turn out. And in this video, let's see how easy it is to make this tiger loaves and buns in five simple steps. So as the first step, let's prepare the bread dough into a bowl. I'm adding water. Here I've used lukewarm water. Water which is not called nar hot but just slightly warm. Then adding sugar, salt, yeast and stir and mix until all of these ingredients get dissolved in water. And now I'm adding butter and flour into this. And just combine them all together to form a shaggy mass of dough. I'm using the rare end of a wooden spoon and I found it easy to mix without much mess. And now transfer this onto a clean work surface. And we need to knead the dough. If you are using a stand mixer, you can use the dough hook attachment and knead the dough for 6 to 8 minutes. And if you are kneading the dough by hand, this is an easy to knead dough and it will all come together in about 2 minutes of kneading. And in the beginning of kneading, we may feel the dough is loose and sticky and we may feel like we need to add a few more tablespoons of flour into this. But don't do that. Just continue to knead for 2-3 to three minutes and you will see the texture of our dough changes and all those extra moisture will get absorbed into the dough and the gluten stands will become long and elastic. And after kneading the dough for about 8 minutes, our dough should be soft and supple. And you can see it is still showing a tendency to stick on to the surface while we pull the dough. And now our dough is ready for the first proofing. Let's place it into a bowl and cover it with a plastic film or with a damp cloth. And let it sit and proof for 30 minutes. And after proofing, our dough has risen slightly. And now let's divide and shape our dough. Here I'm dividing it into two equal parts. We can just eyeball it or to be more precise, each of them is around 315 to 318 grams. And now degas the dough and then roll it into the shape of a small loaf. Place it on a parchment lined baking sheet and then cover it with a cling film so that it will not get dry and here I've smeared this plastic film with some oil to prevent any chance of a dough sticking to the cling film. And now it's the time for final rising. So let the loaves sit and rise for 60 to 70 minutes or until they become doubled in size. And for making this tiger bread, in between this proofing time, we are going to brush the top of these buns with our magic rice paste that gives that beautiful pattern and crunchiness to our bread. Mm -hmm. 
So let's see how easy it is to make this rice paste. I've taken three tablespoons of rice flour and to that let's add a pinch of salt, a half a tablespoon of sugar and one fourth of a teaspoon of yeast and stir and make sure everything is evenly distributed in the flour. And then to make it a paste, I'm adding some water and some oil. Here I've used a toasted sesame oil. We can use any kind of oil. I've made this tiger bread using sunflower oil as well and they turned out pretty good. So combine them together to form a thick paste which is spreadable in consistency. So we prepared the rice paste and let's keep it aside. And now it's been 20 minutes since our loaves are proofing. Let's brush the top of our loaves with a rice paste. And now let's cover it again and let them finish the proofing. And now after 70 minutes they have risen well and they are ready to go into the oven. So bake at 400 degree Fahrenheit for 33 to 35 minutes or until the top of the bread become golden brown in color. The top may start to get browned at around 30 minutes of baking but wait for 5 more minutes until it is nice and golden all over the top. And now our tiger breads are ready and they look so beautiful and the smell of these freshly baked crunch bread is something unique and so delicious. And the crust of this bread is so crispy and finely crunchy with a very pleasant aroma and the inside is very soft and fluffy. And we can have this bread with some plain butter or we can fill it with our favorite filling and have them as a sandwich. Or if you want to make them like a buns, just divide the dough into equal parts. Here I've divided them into 8 equal parts and then shape them into small balls and then proof them and in between the proofing brush the top with some rice paste and after proofing bake at 400 degree Fahrenheit for 28 to 30 minutes and you will get amazing tiger bread rolls. And with a touch of this simple rice paste, we can upgrade any of our buns, rolls or loaves dough into beautiful tiger bread. And I can promise you that your kids will ask you for more and more. And if you want to make a big batch, just double this recipe, including the rice paste. And I hope you found this recipe easy to make and I hope you will make this at home. And I'm sure your whole family will love it. And if 
you like this video please give your valuable thumbs up and please don't forget to share this recipe with your friends and family who love homemade bread and thank you so much for your love and support and thanks for watching this video see you next time